of the area. So we have a number of deciduous and evergreen trees. So trees that lose their leaves and don't. Um, this tree here is a deciduous tree. Does anybody know what this tree is yeah. called? Birch. Birch? No. Aspen. Aspen. It's an aspen. aspen. Yeah, this is a trembling aspen. Oh. Um, so it's uh, <laughs> there's two different types of uh, trees similar to this. There's the black poplar mm -hmm. and then the trembling aspen. And I'll point out a black trembling poplar as aspen. well. The trembling aspens are, they get their name because if you look at the leaves, they're really uh, round leaves with really long stems. So even with the littlest of wind, like right now there's barely any wind and you can see them trembling. It's because of the, the long stem on their leaves. Uh, something cool about this tree, um, these trees, uh, if you look around in the forest here, these trees are all interconnected because uh, they grow from their roots. Um, so what will happen is one tree will go down and it'll grow and it'll get a, it'll get a shoot out of the root and it'll grow. So they're all considered one organism here. They're all probably one organism. And what that does is it means that they're very, very uh, uh, strong uh, and uh, in terms of against forest fires. So if there's a forest fire that comes around, a lot of times these are the trees that will remain because if some die, others that are still part of the same organism will stay alive and they'll support each other. And then they'll be the, the first trees that kind of come back after a forest fire. Mm -hmm. um, something really cool about this one, if you notice on the bark, when I rub the bark here, see how there's a white powder? Mm -hmm. White powder, can anybody think of what that would be used for? No. That's the tree's natural sunblock. Oh. Yeah, so if it didn't have, it, it's kind of a natural sunblock. It's for makeup. Yeah, this is like an, about an SPF 2. So you know how you have an SPF 60? This is about an SPF 2. So you can rub it off and it gives that powder. Mm -hmm. And this, a really, really cool fact about the poplars. poplars this, the poplar in the Guinness Book of World Records, the poplar grove, there's a poplar grove in Utah that's the largest organism in the world. Wow. Yeah, that's classified as the lot because it's all connected, one forest. Mm. So this is aspen? Trembling aspen. Trembling aspen. Yeah. Because the leaves move like that. Yeah. And, it's it's mm -hmm. yeah. and, and th that's aspen too, but that, uh, it doesn't have that powder. Is that what no, it is? this is just an older one. Okay. See how it grows up with the, the bark? Oh, I this see. one's younger. So down here, you'll see the bark ah. here. As they grow older, yeah. they'll have uh, the bark that goes up and it's ah. a little rougher. So right now it could even be mistaken for uh, a birch. A little bit. A little I'll show you. A, I'll show color. you the birch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I if I see one and the, they're they're a little different. You can tell yeah, the, yeah. the size and they're a little bit different. Okay. Mm -hmm.